Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, Microsoft has been slowly deprecating some of the older legacy aspects and apps of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Two that just come to mind quickly are Cortana and WordPad, just to mention two simple examples. And in regards to this, Microsoft has been slowly adding newer components to Windows 10 and Windows 11 to replace um, those older legacy components, one of which is the new Windows Backup app, which I have found is one of those apps which I would say on the channel, you either like or you don't. And the Windows Backup app uses OneDrive, so it's a cloud backup app. It doesn't store any folders or apps or settings or credentials on your actual local device. Now, in regards to backups, something Microsoft hasn't mentioned for quite some time is Windows 7's legacy backup and restore feature, which we can get to by heading to our control panel, as you may well know, and here you see backup and restore Windows 7. Now, believe it or not, although Microsoft has rolled out a new Windows backup app, according to updated support documentation, Microsoft is still recommending using Windows 7's backup and restore if the newer Windows Backup doesn't meet your needs because as mentioned, the new Windows Backup app is cloud-based where Windows 7's Backup and Restore your files does everything on, on local drives, so um, external hard drives and so on. Now, I thought this was interesting and according to Microsoft, you may want to use the Backup and Restore, which obviously rolled out with Windows 7 to create local backups of your files. That's why they're recommending it. And you can also go to the control panel, as you can see, and you can schedule a backup. You can restore files and even the entire system image because here to the left, you can see create a system image, create a system repair disk. Now that's just some basic stuff that the new modern Windows backup app cannot do. So this could be one of the main reasons why Microsoft is still recommending Windows 7's backup over the new Windows backup app. Because as mentioned, with the new one, you can only backup apps and some of your files and some of your data to OneDrive storage, which obviously is limited. And as mentioned, one of the big differences is that the new app doesn't allow you to create a backup of your entire system, like the backup and restore does. And Windows Backup can only backup some of your file settings and installed apps where this tool can backup everything. So what do you guys think? Do you think the old adage applies where you should just let sleeping dogs lie? If it isn't broken, don't fix it. Or do you prefer the Backup and Restore? Or do you prefer the new Windows Backup? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. And especially now that Microsoft is recommending that you can still use that legacy app that rolled out with Windows 7. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.